Avoid the mistake that Taro Daniel makes in this point. So here's a stat that you may not know. The pros only win 47% of the points when they themselves stay behind the baseline. But they win in the mid-60s, 62, 64, 68%, but really the average is the mid-60s when they go to the net. So when you have an opportunity to go forward, and it's no different than for recreational tennis, when you have the opportunity to go to the net, you've got to take it. Check out this shot right here. Taro hits a nice high ball. He's leaning back, so he hits this nice high ball. Anytime you, you lean back, you want to aim higher so you can hit the ball deep. And Nori takes the ball on the rise, but hits it softly and weak. And look where this ball lands. It lands inside the service line. So Taro Daniels got the short ball that he's looking for, but I want you to look at what he does. He hits and then immediately moves back. Now, you could say, well, Ryan, that's because he hit the ball, realized that he didn't like the shot, and then decided to go backward. But I would disagree with that. And the reason is look at the footwork that he used. This is called a front foot pivot, where you bring the back foot around, pivoting on the front foot. This is not the footwork or the body position of someone who is intending on going to the net. He would have done a front foot hop where you'll see the pro, they'll actually hop on the front foot. The right leg would actually kick back and they'll continue to go forward. He made up his mind before he ever hit this ball. It had nothing to do with seeing that, that um, Cam Nori guessed that the ball was going to go cross court. It had nothing to do with that. He decided as he was hitting this ball to use this footwork and to retreat. And it ultimately was to his demise because right here, he's pulled off the court. He hits the, not off the court, but, you know, toward the sideline, ends up hitting the ball right to Cam. And of course, Cam hits the ball into the open court. Now, if you're tired of lugging around your old and outdated ball machine, then just make your tennis friends jealous and get the Proton Ball Machine by Hydrogen Sports. And right now, you can get free shipping in the USA when you use my link. It's in the description. You'll find it in the first comment. You'll also see it on the screen at the end of this video. The Proton is fully programmable using its intuitive app. In fact, you control it using your smartphone or watch. It holds up to 100 balls and weighs less than 20 pounds. To see how truly amazing this ball machine is and to get free shipping when you order one be sure to use my link so click right there to check out the proton ball machine and with that link you're given a coupon code for free shipping when you get a short ball you need to attack it and go to the net if you do there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence win more matches and play much better tennis this is ryan reedy from two minute tennis.net you got this